we are I'm getting ready quickly because I have my lash refill appointment um, but I had a lot of new wet and wild stuff that I got if you follow me on Instagram um, you would know sorry if the mirrors dirty it's because I only use this mirror for makeup so I guess sometimes if I grab it my fingers get dirty um, and this is just very casual so the whole thing why I was like so obsessed with this is because I wanted to try this foundation and I posted about it on snap instagram my instagram story a lot of my viewers told me that walmart like in my area actually carried it so i went and they had a huge wet and wild display i got the two highlighters that everyone always talks about apparently you can return open makeup so i do want to return this lipstick because it's literally gray it looked very nude in the store, but, and it's called Nudie Patootie, but it's literally gray. I also got a corrector, a concealer, which I thought maybe would be a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. And I also got a lip liner, which is really, really nice. Normally, when I do my makeup, I'm just gonna do it how I normally do it. Um, as you can probably see, I do have some scarring. Um, as a base, I just have uh, my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Base with the Sunlight Cover FX Drops. That's why I look a little glowy. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my full cover found, uh, concealer. I like to put that on first um, on areas that like are broken out. Well, like these are just like all healing. Like there's no fresh like pimples or anything. I've been really focused on my skin lately, so it's looking way better. Yeah, so mostly just my chin as usual, what's new, right? Since I'm going for my appointment, um, I'm not gonna do any, any eye makeup, um, so it's gonna be really quick, but this is the Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. The applicator is kind of weird, so okay, I think I chose a good color. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of applicators like this because like, I feel like it's kind of unsanitary. But at the same time, like if it's only you, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and like my face is always clean when I put on makeup anyways. I'm gonna do half my face with one of my favorite beauty sponges by L'Oreal. Then half my face with um, an It Cosmetics brush. really depends like oh it's like pretty good coverage it really depends on the type of foundation like which form of like application I like um some of my like my Armani luminous silk I always use a brush I rarely use um a beauty blender um I'll use it after hmm it's looking pretty nice I'll use it afterwards, but like when I'm applying it, I typically always use a brush. Huh. My skin looks really good. <laughs> I chose like a really good, I look like, it looks pale on camera, but in person it looks like exactly my color. And it looks really, really natural. It's not as like dewy looking as, um, luminous silk but I mean I wasn't really expecting a dewy look I'm just gonna take some of this concealer the only color they had was light medium beige and then like a lot of darker shades so I got light medium beige the Tarte shape tape like we all joke about it being so big but it's actually so convenient so let's take some of this L'Oreal bronzer I'm not gonna set it I don't think it needs it. I need a new brush though. I think this is by Sigma. It's just like really scratchy now. And it's like shedding all over my face. It's really pretty. My follower that told me about the, that she worked at Walmart, told me that the Precious Petals was similar to the, uh, Makeup Forever skin fusion that I like, and I, I would say I'd have to agree. I'm gonna take a new lip liner. This is by Wet n Wild. This lip liner is called Bare to Comment. Then I'm gonna take my like my favorite thing right now. This is the Wink. What time is it? I'm like, okay, I still have time. This is Wink by Bare Minerals, and they're Gen Nude lipsticks. This is amazing. So I like putting that on as a base. Then letting that dry. Sure, people probably wonder why is she doing makeup in the kitchen. 
Well, you see, since I live alone, um, I don't know. I just like the lighting here because it's like facing really good light. So I like to do it here. It's not hurting anybody. If I am, you know, before I have people over to eat, obviously I take all my makeup and stuff off the, the I'm gonna put on a little bit of the Rose Goldie highlighter. Before I have people over to eat, obviously I clear this and I vacuum and I Windex the table because it's a glass table. So yeah, this one is much, but I might like it more. You know, once the lipstick dries, then I'll go over top. Oh, I just, I picked up the one lipstick I wanted. So this is my very broken cream cup. When I saw this highlighter, the crown thing, I thought, hmm, that looks like Stereo Rose. So let's swatch. My hands are clean. So this is Stereo Rose. And this is, okay, they're a little different. I want to say... They're in the same family. This is the Wet n Wild one. This is Stereo Rose. It's like in the same family, but not quite the same. Makeup Forever Pro Fusion in the gold one. I think it's number two. Okay. So all similar. I wonder why I have three. Can you guys see? So if I had, okay, you can kind of see better. If I bring you over here. This is Precious Petals. And this is the Makeup Forever. So Makeup Forever and the Oh Darling are very, very similar. Precious Petals is very, definitely in the same family, but not as, it's a little bit more pink. As I was leaving the FedEx, I pulled in and I was like, I pulled over. Thank you. Do I need to sign it? I know, yeah. just like at the perfect time. <laughs> perfect, right. thank you, thank have you. a good day. Okay, I'm so excited guys. I have to go to the post office and then I'm gonna show you what this is. I'm so excited. Like now my post people are actually really nice. Like I don't know what was happening in January, in like December, or like when I first moved in, I guess I just needed to get to know me. But the FedEx guy was always so, so nice. And like he he's so nice. So like if I don't, if I'm not there, because he normally comes to like around noon. If I'm not there at noon, why does it look all weird? Is it weird? If I'm not there at noon, like he'll come back at five to deliver my stuff. Like he's so nice. So as I was pulling out, I saw the FedEx truck and I was kind of expecting a package from uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys. Um I was kind of expecting a package, so I was like, hi, like I, I was in, but like he's he knows me because like he delivers a lot of stuff a lot of companies use FedEx and um, He was like I was just about to go ring your doorbell, but I saw him so I, I stopped him right in time But now I'm just running into Canada Post to pick up two packages I think I know what one of them is, but I don't know what the other one is um, So yeah, I think one of them is actually from Charlotte um, Crawling in my web. I vlogged last week, but I don't know if I told the story but um, basically she commented on one of our Coffee and Couture, why didn't it look, like maybe it's my eyes? She commented on one of our Coffee and Couture pictures being like, oh my God, I love that. Um, and like, it wasn't in a way that was like, oh, I really want you to send me that thing. It was just like, Tony and I have both been watching Charlotte since like, since like probably 2010, honestly. Like I watched Charlotte before she got engaged, before she got married, before she had a do her baby. So like, I just, you guys know how like sometimes like you feel like you really know me because like you've watched me for a long time or like grown up with me. Like that's how I just, I feel about Charlotte because I've like really, like actually feel like I've grown up watching her videos. Okay, this is person leaving. So she like just commented on the photo being like, oh, I love that. And I was like, I'd be so happy to send you like a little package of just like some stuff that I thought she'd love. And so we sent her the, the Athena Lariat set that she liked. We sent her this new amazing necklace that we're coming out with in our summer collection. And I also sent her like two bracelets for her and then one like mini size bracelet for Josephine. I think she's almost two or like around two years old. So, and then she was so sweet. She's like, I, I wanna send you a package too. So I think she sent me a package. I think it's here. So I'm gonna go in pick up the packages and then come back and we'll do a little in-cart unboxing. Okay, so <laughs> Charlotte went crazy and this box is huge. But there was a box from Pixie, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that. I really need to get like an X-Acto knife that I can keep in the car. <laughs> is that legal? That looks really, really cool. You guys know I'm all about the glow. 
So this is the Glow Mud Cleanser. The Glow Tonic To Go Pads, which I love because... I don't know, I'm lazy and I have the glow tonic, but like I never remember to use it. So if I have pads, it's easy. And then overnight glow serum that has 10% glycolic acid. I'm gonna save this. I've never gotten like a box like this for a Mac. I'm gonna show you what's inside this cute little box. I follow Jamie Page Beauty and a few weeks ago she was like like Snapchatting a lot about this lipstick because as you know, well some of you may know that the that Mac actually came out with a collection um, in collaboration with like a bunch of different uh, like influencers so and it was like by country so for Canada it was Samantha okay I'm gonna be honest I don't really follow her um but it her name is Samantha Ravendahl I'm probably saying that so wrong and I was gonna order it but I just like couldn't find any really good swatches online so this is like the little note and it says can't believe this is for real so excited for you to try my very own MAC lipstick love Samantha so it's just named after her and it's a really cute box what an honor to make you know the um, lipstick with mac um and the color looked amazing well, let me take the sunglasses off oh my god guys this is such a me color it's like the looks such a beautiful nude i have a lipstick on um it's like a liquid lipstick by bare minerals but you guys let know i like to put a lipstick on top oh my god This is literally a perfect nude color for me. It is so pretty. It is so pretty. Let me do a swatch on my hand. The perfect nude. Nude pink color. So happy with this. Oh my god. Okay, so now... Oh, I can't even put these in my car because it, it flies around whenever I show them. Like, I wanted to put this in the car, but I don't think I can because it hangs in front of you guys. So I just like have it like at the top. This lipstick is going to be on repeat for me. It's just like the perfect color, honestly. Like, ugh! I just love when colors are just perfect. Like you don't need to fuss with them. It's like a color that you can just glide on and it's nice. And it's like super pigmented. So it's not like one of those colors that you really need to build up. It's a cream sheen lipstick. So those and well, I mean, I, the only MAC lipsticks I really, I mean, I, I don't really have a MAC lipstick I don't like. Um, but I think I like cream sheet, cream cheese. I like cream sheen and satin as my favorite like MAC lipstick finishes, but I'm, I'm not that picky like about the finishes, honestly. On my way to work now, I'm gonna stop at Starbucks and get a drink. Um, I'm gonna make sure to say ice this time because the past two times I've went, they've given me a hot drink. And I think it's just because I'm like, oh, I want the new drink on the board, the like almond milk, like macchiato. Um, but they just like, I don't know what they do. They, they like make it hot, I guess. But like for me, I'm like, well, I, like I want the drink on the board. Like I'm just really gonna make sure to say ice this time. So that way, like there's no confusion or no anything. I'll leave a link to Charlotte's channel down below. Uh, she posted a snap story last night. I don't know when this vlog is going to go up, but she posted a snap story last night of Josephine wearing the bracelet and Josephine was like looking at it. It was so freaking cute. I mean, obviously Tony and I don't make the chains. We just buy the chains and you know, the materials in bulk and then we cut it and make it into a necklace, not just like a dried piece of chain. But, um, since we can custom make everything, whenever someone orders like a little bracelet for their daughter or like a matching bracelet i just i find it so sweet and it's so cute Hello. hi do you have skinny caramel syrup or just the full sugar one i we have the no sugar and the regular okay um you know that new iced um cinnamon almond milk like blonde yeah. ma macchiato yeah. you can, can I get that skinny can I get that? Um, but instead of cinnamon syrup, can I get that made with the sugar-free uh, caramel syrup? Caramel? Yeah, yeah, no problem. Is that going to be iced or, or hot? Ice, please. Ice? Perfect. Yeah. One second, please. No problem. Do you want it made with uh, almond milk or a different type of milk? Uh, almond milk is fine. Yeah? yeah. Perfect. Is that going to be all for today? Uh, I'll have a Trenta cup of water, please. A Trenta water? Yeah, no problem. Is that all? Yeah, that's it. Okay, 625, you can come on up. Thank you. Like, I swear, oh fuck, I forgot my extra shot, but it's fine. I'm kind of energetic today. Um, she was on top of it today. Do you want your receipt? No, it's fine. Thank you. And I'm so excited because my best friend Sierra, my best friend Sierra is coming to visit. 
um, like May 9th. She's gonna stay with me for probably like almost a week. And I'm so excited. I haven't seen her in so long. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Oh, she is nice. She's a nice madame. Okay. So, you guys heard the order. Okay, it's so windy outside, and these women are having a nice drink on the patio, which I understand, but it's really windy. Um, so, they're new. They have this new iced um, almond milk macchiato with blonde... Okay, they have this cinnamon iced blonde macchiato with almond milk or something so basically i was like more in a caramelly sort of mood so i asked if they had sugar-free caramel they did so instead of it being like a cinnamon and like a skinny iced cinnamon almond milk blonde macchiato mess it was a caramel macchiato mess oh my goodness charlotte went above and beyond she even included the trader joe's bag which is so funny so let's see what we have and what's for the puppies hi puppy Tony's filming. She destroys everything. Hi, hi, puppies. Hi, puppies. Hi. You're such a big doggy, little, little bad boy. A lot of people send me messages about his eyes um, and his tear, his tear eye things. Trust us. We try to wipe his eyes every day. He hates people touching his face. Like he refuses. Like I could literally just go all like that on Bentley. If I try and touch Ben, if I try and touch little this guy's face, he growls and throws the biggest fit in the world. It's really scary. So Charlotte went absolutely crazy, but I am so excited to try all of these things because it's stuff that she shows in her videos, like this coconut cranberry. Uh, did I say that right? Cranberry granola, the truffles, ginger pear white tea, which sounds so good. These two things for the dogs: jerky sticks and chicken tenders. You want to give him one? Mm -hmm. Coffee cups granola bars, Leo. there's these crispy mochi rice nuggets, a coffee body scrub, you put this in the microwave and it's like a s'more, there's just Leo. so much stuff. Leo, Leo, here, Leo, Leo. He's like, Tony, what do you have to say to people who are like, you need to wipe his eyes? Like, he's a devil. He doesn't let you wipe his eyes. I want to try this, it looks so good, what is this? Oh. Those are really good. Mm. They are really good. Show me. They are really good. What are these? Imagine you drop them all. Like Leo's having the time of his life. Ginger pear. Try oh, this. Bomb. They're good, eh? The dogs are gonna try this chicken recipe jerky stick. I cut it in half for them. You want one? Good boy. Hey, Leo. Here. Oh. Look. Ew. And Tony's trying a s'more. Those jeans are cute, Tony. Where'd you buy them? Online. Where? Online. You really look good on you. Low waist, they look so much better than high waist today, Tony. Are you sure? Yeah. Is it good? I like high waist, mm, Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, you went to Trader Joe's? Yeah, I went to Trader Joe's. I'm just leaving the office now. We actually, okay, well, we're coming out with a summer collection, which I talked about, and it's gonna be very, like, very my style, like, very, not dainty, but some pieces are dainty, but, like, if you liked, like, the Jesse uh, Golden Coin pendant, sort of, like, that vibe, a lot of gold, just, like, very summery. Um, we just came out, oh, it's the most amazing choker. It's called the Stella Choker, and I love naming the things, and we named it Stella because, like, it just reminded us of, like, the stars and, like, the moon, like, and Stella is such a pretty name. Mike and I always say, okay, I've never had a girl dog. I've only ever had boy dogs, <laughs> so I don't know if I would ever get a girl dog. Like, I just, I don't feel as connected to girl dogs for some reason. Like, I know that sounds crazy, but, like, like, Mike's mom has, like, a, a boy dog and a girl dog, and I just like the boy dog more, like, the personality more. I don't know. It makes no sense because they're... I'm just crazy, but um, if we ever got a girl dog, we'd probably name her Stella, and that's so cute, right? So, um, I we came out with a, the Stella Choker, and it's very it's Jesse James Decker inspired because 
Around the time we came out with the golden coin pendant, she also started wearing this choker and you can get the one she gets at Nordstrom. It's like over $80. And so I was like, mm, like, I'm sure I can make that. So I ended up finding a gorgeous chain, like really, you can't really see it that well, but the picture online is like really good of Tony. Um, and we have it in silver, rose gold and gold, like a beautiful, like pale gold. And I just liked it as a bracelet. So I've been wearing like this bracelet. It's going to be part of the new summer collection. And then this is just the, um, original mermaid bracelet and just a stacking chain so i'm just gonna have a grilled chicken salad tonight it sounds good and honestly i'm just not in the mood for something else so um i'm having an arugula salad arugula is my favorite type of like lettuce to have and i'm just gonna this is like a pretty big bowl so i'm just gonna have a lot a bunch of lettuce with i made two chicken breasts like two chicken breast portions um so i'm just gonna take like Maybe a little bit more. Or as Europeans call this rocket. Now this is the olive oil I use. It has 80 calories for two tablespoons. I know some people don't believe it. I called Bertoli actually this morning like a psycho and I asked them if the information on the nutrition label was correct and they assured me that yes, it was correct. Um, so yes, there's 80 calories for two tablespoons. I'm probably gonna use one tablespoon I used one tablespoon on my chicken, big whoop. In my mind, I'm like, olive oil is just in my veins. I'm Greek. Olive oil is like water to us. It's gold. So I don't really think about it like that. Um, yeah, I didn't buy this because I was low calorie. I just bought it because I liked the bottle, truthfully.